In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a website into a Canvas page. First thing you'll need to do is to create a page. I'm going to click on the plus page button. And I'm going to name this page social, social story. I'm going to em embed a book of a social story from a website for my students to read. The next thing you want to do is to make sure you're in the HTML editor. You're going to go ahead and click here for HTML editor. That opens up the editor for you to paste that code. Then you're going to need to get some special code. I will have a link to a document in the YouTube description for this video where you'll be able to get this code. So here is the code right here. It is an iframe code that you will need to copy and paste. You will notice here that it says paste URL here. When we copy the website address, we will be pasting it inside those quotation marks where paste URL here is. First, we wanna go ahead and copy and paste. So you're going to select that text. On a Mac, you would use Command C to cut that. It's now on my clipboard. I'm going to go back into Canvas and I'm going to paste that here in that HTML editor. I'm gonna use Command V to paste that. You'll notice all of that text has now been pasted in there. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go to the website that you want to embed. I'm going to use this Who Wears Masks social story from Unite for Literacy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy the website address. So I'm gonna once again use that Command C on my Mac and I'm gonna go back to the, U, the HTML editor. Now I'm going to select this text that says paste URL here. On my Mac now, I am going to use Command V and it's going to paste in that web address for me. Now, one thing that you do want to notice is in Canvas, you're going to paste the URL here with the copied web address, and you want to keep the quotation marks around the web address. So we'll go back here and look. I have kept both of the quotation marks at the beginning and at the end. The other thing, if your copied web address starts with HTTP, you're going to want to make sure that you have it as HTTPS. If it does not have that S on it, you will need to add an S to the pasted web address. We're gonna go back to the HTML editor. We do notice that the Unite for Literacy website did have an S on the end, so that, therefore it's going to work. You're gonna come down here to save or save and publish, and then your website will be embedded in Canvas. Now I noticed that this website, when it's embedded, it's not quite the right formatting. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go back to that HTML code. So I'm gonna come up here to edit. I'm gonna click on edit and back into that HTML editor. That's gonna give us the code here. And what I can do is I can change the width and the height of that website. So I wanna make it a little bit wider. So I'm gonna take this number up to 900. And this is something you're gonna to have to kind of play around with unless you really know code and you know how much that's gonna be. I'm gonna change that to 900. And then the height of the website was very long. So I wanna shorten that. And I'm going to change this to about, 600. Now that again, this is something you're going to have to play around with, see how it looks. And then I'm going to come down here to save again. And we will see what this looks like. So here you can notice that it's embedded within there. I have shortened that length of the website so it fits better into the canvas screen. 
And from here, my class would be able to read Who Wears Masks. Who Wears Masks by Phoebe McGuffey. And all of this is embedded into Canvas. Your students are not leaving Canvas to read this social story. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Canvas tutorials and fun activities to do at home.